Wow. So I made a video this weekend about how I was, uh, or sorry, just a few hours ago about this past weekend in my regional top, Ghost Trick Spirits. I was initially going to wait until after YCS Las Vegas to post the deck list, just so that one of my friends running it at the event could just have the element of surprise, but he said he didn't really care. Uh, Jeff and I talked about it, and we're totally fine with sharing our deck lists, but... Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm, I wrote a tournament report for TCG Player, which should be up within a few hours or so. Maybe tomorrow it will be discussing the tournament report as a whole, but I'll discuss some individual card choices and go over my deck list here. All right, so for the deck list, I have three Nikitama. You know, the really good spirit that's a double summon, and it lets me draw lots and lots of cards. And then we got everyone's favorite spirit, Aratama. Uh, this is the Stratos. That's the best way I explain it to people. And uh, just to simplify things, that's how I typically treat it. I'm like, hey, this is the Double Summon. You can read it if you want to, but it's the Double Summon. And this is the Stratos. I mean, it is a spirit and everything, but um, there's that. And for the Ghost Trick Engine, still got Rock and my Three Marys. Seems pretty cool. Uh, and I'm actually playing Three Spectre instead of any Jack Frost because it's just better. I never really needed Jack Frost, and it was just kind of turned into a minus one most of the time. Um, I also have three Kage to Kage, because the main combo is really cool, and kind of, uh, well, it's really good. Uh, normal Summon Nikitama, Special Summon Kage to Kage, Normal Summon Aratama to get a plus one, Stack for Desk King of the Feral Imps, and Detach to get another Kage to Kage from your deck, and then draw with Nikitama, because you have an Aratama on the field. It's... Really, 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 really good. Uh, then we got two Ghost Trick Jing Nashingis. Uh, this is the Stratos for the deck. It actually, I may bump it up to three, but I kind of like my 40th spot. Um, Boss Monster BLS, Boss Monster Dark Dust Spirit. Not that helpful. Um, I think I'm going to take it out for King Kabayu or Jing Nashiki. And then Boss Monster number two, Dark Round. On for the spells, we got. Three MST, awesome garden. Two Dichotomy, because I run so many different types in here, and I often don't need my battle phase, because I can just Ghost Trick my opponent, or Honor Arc them, or BLS, or Dad, or something, if I really need to go on the offensive, but this was phenomenal. Thinking about playing three, so I... T um, yeah, I knew this card was eventually going to be busted one day, and I finally found a deck where this card is just unreal in. Creeping Darkness is another interesting card that I have in this deck. It searches Aratama and Nikitama. Um, basically, once you drop a Mary and then thus a Jing Nashi, you're going to have uh, Creeping Darkness will, unless you open two your opening turn. I mean, even I did that and they were both alive within a matter of turns. It's really good to eighth in your deck and B, get the best card in your deck. Um, sometimes when you need to make a rank four play and you have to sack, let's say you went first and, you know, wasted an Aratama or had to. Summon Aratama to get Nikitama. The next turn, you had to make a rank four. And so you'll waste your Stratos with a Nikitama in hand. If you have a Creeping Darkness, and if you've done any Ghost Trick stuff throughout the match, or the game, rather, you'll be able to uh, search another Aratama and kind of consolidate for the quote-unquote wasted Stratos that you used. Uh, Mind Control. Holy crap. So good. Or, um, I actually picked up an Ultra one, because, which I was really happy with myself. Uh, Dark Hole. Dark Hole's neat. Um, it's not really necessary, but it's really neat. On for the traps. Fiendish Chain. Jeff didn't like this, but I, I was pretty comfortable with Fiendish Chain for the most part. Black Horn of Freaking Heaven. Oh, God, this card is good. I, um, this card should be, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking of bumping up, up to three against Gear Gaia. This kind of made all my Gear Gaia matches virtually a cakewalk. Uh, then we got Seven Tools of the Bandit. Um, since my deck is a lot more pro or reactive, uh, Seven Tools of the Bandit was, eh, I mean, it was pretty good because I'd have to set up a few turns, and this hits Warning and um, opponent Seven Tools and a couple other things that you know MST just can't deal with. Uh, then for the One of Traps, got the Big Three. I don't know if these are the Big Three. That's what I'm calling them. I actually have blinged out versions of these two, like Ultra Rares, and I have it. <laughs> Common uh, bottomless. Onto the side deck or extra deck. One of these. 
you know, pretty good Recycle Your Ghost Tricks. One of these really good Recycle Your Ghost Tricks. It's really nice popping um, multiple back rows with this if they can't get rid of it. Lava Vol Chain to do the add, to basically tutor BLS from your hand. I guess still Emerald, it's a Pot of Duality on Legs. Uh, you can take this out, it's not really needed. I, it's good, but I, um, again, it's not really needed. With Mind Control, I thought it'd be a little more useful, but I only stole an opponent's monster and overweighted it with Mind Control once. Go me. Uh, awesome card, it makes everything blow up. AKA really good. Um, this was, this is actually really useful against things like Agachi or, uh, Fire King Avatar or Mermail Bitsalindi. I initially didn't have it in there, and I don't know why, because it's incredibly useful. Uh, guy, 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 cowboy, steals games. Gear guy, I don't run this anymore, I don't know why. Maystroke, um, I don't know why I ran this, but it just seemed kind of useful at the time. Because I realized I could, I didn't have to run duplicates or triplicates of certain things, because of bottom dichotomy. And so I was like, well, you know, what if Maystroke comes in handy? It did, Book of Mooning something did come in handy once. Diamond, Dire? Oof. Yep. Pistol Waller never went into it, but it seems good, right? Oh, I did go into it once. Photon Papal Imperative. I think this card's pretty neat in mean, this deck, or just in decks in general that run rank fours. Um, I mean, if you really want to take it out, you can, but this card saved me, or this card really helped me push for game multiple times. Two of these guys, you know, it's pretty good. Silent Honor Arc uh, steals opponent's stack positions monster. It's really nice that it's an Aqua because it fills this requirement. And the King of the Fair Olympus. Uh, again, when, oftentimes I'll go into this one. I don't have any. I don't need to go on the offensive in any way. For the side deck, uh, Maxis. Jeff hates these, but I like them against Medulce and Harpy. Which there's certain rogue strategies that I just hate playing against, and Maxi solves a lot of those problems. So. These two, or this, this card was really good. Um, Kaiku, you can actually search Kaiku with Creeping Darkness, and this came in handy. Uh, you know, searching it with Creeping Darkness is really nice. Two Creature Swap. Uh, I didn't main these because I didn't feel like I needed to. I did side it in against Gear Gaia uh, and a couple other decks. I don't remember what other decks I sided in against, but it's pretty good. DNA Surgery. I hate Boogans. Mind Crush. Oh look, Bougians I hate. Oh my god, what deck do I hate? Yeah, I'll give you a hint. I hate Bougians. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching the video. I, I'm glad that you enjoyed the Ghost Trick Spirit deck. Uh, I'll see what I can do to change it up, and hopefully you can enjoy this deck for yourself in the future.